Now that we have a working KKPHP installation running in our environment, we can finally reproduce what I've shown you in the first video. Generating, also known as baking, our backend. First of all, we need to have a schema present in the connected database, so KKPHP knows what it should generate. Here you can see we still have the same simple categories table as in the previous videos. Also, there's a link in the description below where you can download that schema if you want to try it out yourself. Next, make sure that KKPHP actually can connect to your database via the homepage, which we've already seen in the previous video. If not, you please make sure again that in your config app underscore local file, the credentials for your data source and database user are correct. Now that everything is ready, we need to tell KKPHP to generate our code. We can do this via the CakeCLI present in the bin folder. So first, let's take a look at what the CakeCLI can offer us via executing bin slash cake. There are a lot of commands present here, which you can definitely explore on your own, but all we need now is bin cake bake. So let's try that out. As you can see here, no command provided, run bake uh, dash, da uh, dash dash help to get a list of the available sub commands in the bake command. Um, here you can see all the sub templates and sub code parts you can generate, but since we don't know really what we want, we just say bin cake bake all because we just want everything generated. And now you can already see that CakeBHP already knows we have a categories table present in our connected database. So let's just say bin cake bake all categories. And now a bunch of files were generated, which we will go through in much more detail in the next video. But you can now try out the front end yourself by going into the website and type in the URL slash categories. Uh, and doing the same as shown in the first video, where we can add, we can view, we can edit, and we can delete stuff. And with that, we are done generating our backend. You know what to do, and I will see you in the next one.